Hi, this is Darvin with Helia, and today we're going to look at adding custom phone templates to 3CX. So there's a couple steps here. First, we're going to download some custom phone templates. Then we're going to add them to the appropriate directory within 3CX. Uh, we have to restart the services, and sometimes we have to reboot 3CX. I think this is a bug, so in future versions that should disappear. And then the last step is to assign them to a, a phone within 3CX. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have 3CX phone system. If we go under extensions, and then uh, this is a, a, well, you can see it's a remote desktop, and I've got uh, a local server running here for test purposes. I've got a single extension, so I'm going to double click on that, or I can go in and click the edit key. Then on the tab over here, it says phone provisioning. That's where we set up the template. So we're going to have a quick look here. Uh, these are all the standard templates that come with 3CX, and we're going to add some to the top here. So what we need to do is uh, we can cancel all of this, and uh, then we're going to go and download a couple new templates. So I'm going to go over to our Helia Tools .com website. And if we go under uh, templates, we can download some custom templates here. I've got some templates for uh, Yealink. We're going to click on those. And uh, scroll down to the bottom. Here's our download. So let's start downloading the first one. You know, there's a better way to do this. We're going to right-click on this and then save link as. Okay, so we're in the desktop. We'll create a new folder here, and we'll call this uh, custom phone templates. Okay, and so we'll go in there, save that template, and we'll save these other ones as well. Okay, so now if we go to My PC and we have a look at the desktop where I save those, there's our custom phone templates, and you can see they show up here. Uh, the file extension is XML. You might not see the XML depending on how your browser is set up. But now what we need to do is we need to copy these to the appropriate place on uh, the computer here. So this needs to be on the phone server. Uh, the 3CX server, and where you'll find the appropriate directory, we go to the C drive. You can also go here to C, and then program data. If program data does not show up because it is a hidden folder, that's okay because that's uh, the default for it to be hidden. So in that case, what we do is we go up to the uh, address bar here, we type in program data, and there is the folder. So we just hit enter, and we're into the folder. From here, we can click on 3CX. Day oh, sorry, that's not right. Uh, 3CX and then instance 1, uh, and then data, HTTP, templates, and phones. This is where the phone templates all exist. So what we need to do now is go back to the other ones. I'm going to go in here and right-click, copy, and then we're going to go to my other window here. Uh, here's the directory up here. And we're simply going to right-click and paste. So now you can see we've got a number of new templates in here. Now, uh, next step is we need to go back to 3CX. And under System, we need to restart the service. So I'm going to go and restart all. And pause the video for a moment. Okay, so when the services are restarted, uh, it automatically logs you out of 3CX. So we're going to go back to extensions now uh, and have a look at this. Here I'm going to click the edit button instead. I can double click as well. And we're going to go to form, phone provisioning and click on here. So if I scroll all the way up, you can see that my templates haven't shown up here. They should have after I restarted the services, but uh, they're not. So my next step is I need to reboot 3CX. So I'm going to pause the video one more time. Okay, so I've restarted my 3CX computer, and like I say, normally that's not necessary. And we're going to go into extensions again and open up uh, phone provisioning, look at the T38. Now, if I scroll up to the top, you'll see our, our new custom templates. So here we go, Colony, uh, Yealink, 
and there's a home and a shop and a kitchen. Uh, what these do? Well, that's up to the documentation of where you got these uh, templates. But here they are, and then I can select one of these, and uh, as per normal, click OK, and now this phone is using that particular template. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is Dar with Helia. Visit us online at office dash phone dash systems dot ca uh, and uh, hope you found this useful. Bye for now.